Currently, the Philippine National Police is strictly monitoring the performance of their police officers as they target to eliminate illegal drugs in the country within three to six months in accordance with the order of President Rodrigo Duterte. According to PNP Director for Operations Police Chief Superintendent Camilo Cascolan, presently they are strictly evaluating the performance of all the chief of police, deputy for operations and provincial and regional directors in different areas nationwide to identify if they are doing their job well. We will be coming out with our, with our evaluation today for the three weeks. Ibibigay po namin and we will be warning them actually na dapat they have to uh, intensely double their effort para makabawis lahat. The PNP also warned these officers that they might be relieved once they fail to fully eliminate illegal drugs in their respective areas. In a span of six weeks, marami po, ta marami po ang marirelieve na COP at PDs na hindi nagtatrabaho. That goes also for Deputy Regional Directors for Operations kasi sila po ang Vice Chairman ng uh, Double Barrel sa kanilang mga regions. At the same time, ho, itatanong din ho namin ano po ang mag nagiging issue nila Bakit ganito yung uh, kanilang drive? Bakit mababa? And to improve their performance, each chief of police are given with six weeks' time, two months for every DRDO, and three months' extension for all regional police directors. Based on the PNP's monitoring, it turned out that Sambuanga Peninsula or Region 9 gained the highest performance on the number of houses visited by the PNP, while the ARMM got the lowest number. Northern Mindanao got the highest number of drug users who voluntarily surrendered, while the NCR got the greatest number of drug pushers who surrendered as well. As of July 22, the total number of drug suspects killed has reached to 240, while more than 3,000 were arrested, and more than 100,000 has voluntarily surrendered nationwide. The PNP is confident that through the non-stop operation of Oplan Tokang, number of crime rates in the country will continue to decrease.